Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord or night wherever you are. Praise God. What I would like you to do is actually to share this post. Um, make sure you tag someone in it because I'm going to be talking about things that people have contacted me and saw all over the U.S. and the world about the portals. You know, a lot of you are looking up in the sky and you're seeing a circle form and it's actually just a, a black circle. Sometimes it's a clear circle. It doesn't matter what circle it is. It is a portal. Come on somebody. It's demonic portals that are being opened all over the world. And that's why we as the body of Christ have to move into actually telling people and warning people about spiritual warfare. Praise God. Praise God. A lot of people, you know, the churches, and it's okay to have things. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God doesn't mind you having things. He doesn't mind you being in a state of prosperity. But what is it? To gain the whole world and lose your soul because you don't know about demonic portals opening in your city, in your state, in your nation. Come on, somebody. That's why a lot of you are seeing evil rise like never before because you don't understand what's happening in your city, in your state. Come on, somebody in this world. And what's happening is that demonic portals, after they are open, that's when you're starting to see so much stuff happen. I'm talking about it's things that it would just kind of like... Blow your mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about y'all wondering why people are getting killed. Y'all wonder why children are being molested more. Children are killing, the, killing their parents. I'm talking about there are more reports that more children are severing off the head of their parents. Now, this is normal. This is not normal. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that's what's happening. It's evil rising. You see, the Antichrist knows he has but a short time. We're talking about the spirit of the Antichrist. We're talking about the spirit of the devil. So what he is going to do and trying to do. I want to steal, kill, and destroy the people of God. And I'm going to start with the youth. Come on, somebody. Y'all listening to that old garbage music? Yes, it's garbage. Anybody can talk to about sex, lust, drugs, alcohol, and thugs. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Parents, you are just as responsible. You better start closing those gates. Y'all better start closing those doors. Come on, somebody. When they come in from school, you're supposed to not even let them get in that house without, hey, wait a minute. Let's pray outside and let me anoint you outside so it can stay outside whatever you brought come on somebody hallelujah it's time for spiritual warfare to be taught in the correct way. Your brother and your sister in Christ is not your hater. Come on, somebody. That's not your enemy. We got one enemy, and the enemy's name is Satan, the devil, Lucifer, whatever you want to call him. Hallelujah to his name. So it's time. So that's what's happening all over the city. So it's time for you to start drawing those bloodlines. It's time for you to start walking holy. The reason why a lot of you don't have no power, because you're not walking holy. You're not spending time with God. You're so busy with your job, with your husband, with your wife, with your kids until you're not understanding how important it is to spend time with God because when you spend time with God it's in the presence of God that God tells you, hey, this is going on in your household, this is going on in your marriage this is going on at school, this is going on at work that's why some of you don't know it. And then what you want to do is you want to get on every prayer call and then ask everybody else, can I get a word? Can I get a word? Can I get a word? Let me tell you something. God is the word. And if you spend time with him, you'll understand what he's trying to tell you. Because that's one thing. You see, we as leaders, we're going to preach and teach. And it could be powerful. But nothing is powerful as spending Spending time with your Lord. Nothing as powerful as spending time with your God. Nothing as powerful as God releasing the things that you need to know. The things that you need to do. Instructions in this hour. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. This is the hour of power. And I'm going to tell you it's a true, it's a two edged fire. This fire you're going to burn up everything that's not of God. And then it's another fire and, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to recreate and reestablish the covenant of God. The fire of God. Ignite those of you that have fell off. Ignite those those of you that, that you used to love God, used to serve God with all your heart, and you stop because you start running after money and things, and that's the prosperity teachers. They teaching y'all how to prosper, but they're not teaching y'all how to war. Oh, come on, somebody. They're not teaching you how to worship. Worship is war, honey. And if you don't know how to worship, you can't go to war. Oh, hallelujah to his name. Y'all better get in on it because let me tell you something. These demons 
are not playing. Only in the body of Christ, everybody want to be a superstar. But demons work together. And that's why when God was cast, when Jesus was casting out the devil of that man by the tomb, he said, what is the name? And he said, I am legion because we are many. Y'all don't understand. These demons don't roll in just one, two, three. There are thousands and hundreds. Y'all better understand what time it is, what season it is. Because this season is height. I'm talking about the enemy is trying to steal, kill, and destroy the people of God. And God is allowing testing because God want to know what fruit do you possess? Oh, come on, somebody. This is the fruit season. What fruit do you really possess? Will you still serve God when you don't understand? Will you still serve God when, when things are shifting? Will you still serve God when everybody leaves you? Will you still serve God when, when you don't have no money in your bank account? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So God is allowing because this is the season of sifting. That's why it's a shifting because it's sifting. Hallelujah to his name. Y'all better open up your eyes, your ears, and your spirit. Oh, come on, somebody. Quit running after things. And you better run after God Because when you truly run after God The things will chase you and catch you Hallelujah Oh come on somebody But don't worry because God is shifting It's a change of the guards That's why you don't see them with power Oh come on somebody Yes they talk a good word And they'll have you emotional And all this other stuff But God said my kingdom Is not just in word But it's in power And God is releasing a true remnant this hour That walks in power That talks in power That moves in power That possess the power of God Hallelujah the fire of God that when they speak, oh, you coming out of bondage. When they speak, you are transformed. When they lay hands on you, you are healed. Hallelujah. Healed and delivered. Hallelujah to his name. It's time to get it together. And that's why these portals are being opened. That's why you're seeing high evil. But God said, I will redeem you one more time because this is my church and you are my people. Hallelujah, thus said the Lord. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. And I pray that you replay this, share this, tag this, and understand the season. We're in shifting and sifting. And yes, you're going to be tested because God want to know, can I trust you? Because I'm going to be honest with you, the last generation he can't trust because they're all about money and they do some funny things. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out, soldiers, and that's who you are.